War Diary Day 554 of Russia's war against Ukraine. So um, behind me is, I think, a big statue to Taras Shevchenko. He's one of the founding fathers of, of modern Ukraine. Um, and it's all wrapped up so the Russian rockets can't get it. But actually, what's very funny is the Russians now need to uh, do the same because the number of drone attacks clearly by the Ukrainians against Moscow, against military targets across Western Russia is getting uh, bigger by the day. And it's hard, you know, I can't go to um, Russia anymore, not after writing a book like Killer in the Kremlin. But, <laughs> and so it's hard for us, for me anyway, to gauge what's actually happening in Russia. But let me give you a little measure of the paranoia there. After the very public execution of Prigozhin, death by fireball, what happens is I think everybody in Putin's circle are afraid. Um, and I was very amused to hear from a friend of mine, uh, a Ukrainian, who said they've seen a story that Ramzan Kadyrov, he's this crazy fascist leader of the of the the Chechen traitors um, who support the Kremlin, who support Putin. He went from Grozny to Moscow, and it's a long bloody way by train. The reason he went by train was that he was scared of going by plane, lest Putin have him blown up. Because to be a kind of over-mighty warlord like Prigozhin or Ramzan Kadyrov, that's no longer healthy. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.